everyone, welcome to my Blogster. My name is Julia, and I'm going to be taking you through my article today. So the article I chose to do my poster on is called Estrogen Acutely Suppresses Inhibition in the Hippocampus Through a Sex-Specific Endonavaroid and Pleuar Dependent Mechanism. So this is an article recently published in 2012 in the journal Neuron by Guan Shehong and Catherine Woolley. So already from the lengthy title, you can kind of get an idea about what the article is going to be talking about. So we know that estrogen, or estradiol, is going to be inhibiting some sort of firing or neurons in the hippocampus. Uh, this is a sex specific uh, mechanism, so whether it's males or just in females. Um, somehow endogenous cannabinoids are involved, as well as metabotropic glutamate receptors. So right off the bat, what kind of stuck out for me was the fact that it was sex specific. So estrogen is in size of both males and females. Um, obviously there's a lot more in females in size for reproductive organs. But in this article they realized that uh, estrogen is actually synthesized in the hippocampus as a neurosteroid. And this is used for modulation of its activity. Uh, the type of estrogen that we're going to be looking at uh, always usually estradiol, and here it's been 17 beta estradiol. Uh, for simplicity reasons, I'm going to be abbreviating this as E2. Uh, and because, like I said, because it is sex specific, they found that it only occurs in females and not in males. And this signaling causes the attenuation of CA1 neurons. So estrogen, or E2, binds to estrogen receptors, more specifically the alpha subunit of estrogen receptors, of period of the periodic inputs that go to the CA1 neurons. So we already learned about CA3 neurons in our HMB 300 course when we talked about memory formation and that uh, trisynaptic circuit in the hippocampus. So here these CA1 neurons also play a role in that memory formation. So periodic um, these inputs they normally secrete, or sorry, release GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So they normally cause the inhibition of CA1 neurons. But here, upon binding of estrogen, or of E2, causes the disinhibition of CA1 neurons. So less GABA is released from the periodic inputs. Um, and this is found in a subset of cells known as the uh, estrogen sensitive cells, a very well named type of neuron. And in these estrogen receptor, sorry, estrogen sensitive cells, they release anywhere from 25% to 70% less GABA upon binding E2. Uh, they realized that these were GABA neurons because they use uh, GABA antagonists known as SRD5531. And when they applied this to hippocampal slices, they realized that this disinhibition no longer occurred. So they did realize that it was necessary to have these GABA inputs. So it's gone through point number one and point number two. So a second point they found out that not only does it involve estrogen, but it also involves the activation of CB1 receptors. CB1 receptors are involved in retrograde endocannabinoid signaling. So that's where this part of the pedestal comes in. So endogenous cannabinoids. So when they blocked CB1 receptors with AN251, it caused um, no more disinhibition. So again, the CA1 neurons were still inhibited, GABA was still being released. However, when they applied WIN, which is the CB1 and, um, agonist, so it mimics the effects of the CB1 receptor activation, it still allowed for this attenuation of the IPSPs and disinhibition of the CA1 neurons. So that's when they realized that there is this endocannabinoid signaling occurring. Next, they wanted to figure out uh, what type of endogenous cannabinoid is during the signaling. Most commonly in the hippocampus, 2AG uh, does most of the retrograde and time, uh, retrograde endocannabinoid signaling. So they first applied um, a 2AG antagonist in a way, it just prevents the breakdown, and by preventing the breakdown they thought that would cause the inhibition of the CA1 uh, disinhibition. Inhibition of disinhibition, now that's a mouthful. And when they did apply the JZL, they found that it didn't have any effect. So they know that 2AG is not involved. 
have 195 URB197, which is now specific for an anandamide, it did cause no longer uh, the disinhibition of CA1 neurons. So there was more firing of CA1. So now they realize not only is estrogen binding to the estrogen receptor alpha subunit, but there's also CB1 receptors that are being activated by endogenous cannabinoids of an anandamide. And they went further to figure out what other mechanisms could be involved, and they're not quite sure, but somehow activation of the glutamate receptors is also important because by blocking these glutamate receptors, there no longer was this attenuation of neurons. In other studies, they did find that activation of glutamate receptors um, allowed for the synthesis of an antibody. So there are some correlations there that maybe these glutamate receptors are needed to be activated in order to synthesize the anandamide, to have that retrograde signaling along with the estrogen binding to cause this disinhibition of the CA1 neurons to making them more active in the hippocampus. So a lot of <laughs> details that went into this study. Um, most importantly, I think a take home message from today would be what are the effects of the signaling? And because it is sex specific, we can look at differences between males and females. And one thing that stood out for me was the fact that females are going through uh, the ovarian cycle, as if they're mentioning. And by having those fluctuations in estrogen, if that estrogen or estradiol is able to get into the brain, it can cause this disinhibition of the CA1 neurons. What that might be doing, I'm not quite sure, but uh, CA1 neurons are important in memory and learning. So if we're looking at any sort of diseases or neurological uh, functionings that are different between men and women, or different disorders that are different between the sexes, this could definitely play a really big role in research. So thank you so much for listening to my talk, and I hope that you learned something today.